Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from A Countryman's View. I hope you're doing well. Today, the title on my thumbnail is Vicar Sacked Over Anti-Woke YouTube Channel. Incidentally, this is just a library picture. It's not the vicar I'm actually referring to. So, here in the Daily Telegraph, we have um, a headline, Free Speech Storm Embroils Church After Vicar Sacked Over Anti-Woke YouTube Channel. And here... Um, about a month ago I put this uh, video up on YouTube Sacked Vicar could be homeless uh, he needs your help and uh, believe it or not that uh, has received 9.8 uh, K views which is, is quite a few and he, he genuinely needed help I believe because he was speaking the truth now the problem is with the media and the Church of England as Christians as I am I go by what this book says, the Holy Bible. It's all, it's, everything is in here, it's a book of life. Now some people may say it's a book of rules and you could say that to a certain extent but I believe it's more of a guide or it is a guide to Christian living and it, it keeps us on the right track rather than going around the, down the wrong paths. If, you, if we're obedient to this book our life, lives will thrive. So if we don't go against it, then we're going to come across difficulties. And we have to remember that Jesus came to give eternal life. And uh, for those who believe in him can have that. But if we're going to do things that don't line up with the Bible, there is a price to pay. So it's important to go by this book. And I've been on both sides. Uh, I've been a Christian for around 27 years. And I've seen the difference that the um, living the Christian life works. And it's so, so much better. Um, so, so just coming back to this article um, for the, um, regarding the free speech and the vicar it says uh, here a church is embroiled in a free speech row after sacking a vicar who ran an anti-woke YouTube channel and once again I don't think it's really anti-woke he's just preaching biblical truth and we, we have all these uh, the media seems to have all these ideas about we have to do this and that but when it doesn't line up with scripture I'm afraid it doesn't work and it goes on to say breaking Ang Anglican de denomination the Free Church of England dismissed the Reverend, Bref Mur Reverend Brett Murphy last month after ruling that the nature and tone of videos he posted online had brought the church into disrepute the FCE took issues with the vicar using the term witch to refer to a female priest. I must admit, I hadn't heard heard, heard that, but um, some people in the church do not behave in a biblical way. Maybe that's not the best way to refer to someone, but um, I don't know the context of that. The vicar who opposes the ordination of women who has claimed comments were tongue-in-cheek and sarcastic and that he has a right to free speech. I agree, we, sh we need to have a right to free speech and to be able to put our point over it doesn't mean we have to be unkind to people but just we should be able to debate things and talk freely he goes on to say it's well, not my intention to say all, all female clergy were witches but to criticize militant feminism within the church he said and feminism doesn't work in the church it's it's from the it's, it's from the devil and uh, that is not the way biblical principles work so I, I agree with them then here further down it says a church ruling seen by the telegraph upheld one allegation of inappropriate online activity finding that his youtube short channel did not sit with the principles and values of the church the reverend murphy uses the channel to comment on news and developments in christianity from a conservative christian standpoint he is now appealing against the rule and claiming the investigation was not carried out fairly um just further down it says last year the father of two father of two left the church to, of england to join the fcle along with the reverend calvin robinson someone i often refer to talks a lot of sense a political commentator um and so it goes on this is, the article is probably somewhere else online as well but this is coming from the, the daily telegraph so the fact, fact is, we need to be, as Christians, we need to go by what the Bible says, not by what man wants to hear, because it is the truth that sets you free. We can adjust things and, and potentially change the Bible if we want to, but it, it will backfire, I can promise you, because everything has to come back to, does it line up with Scripture? And if it does, that's great, but if it doesn't, there is a price to pay. So just so we'd look at some scripture on sort of biblical truths, a few short scriptures. Um, Proverbs 30, 
um, 5 to 6 reads, Every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who put their trust in him. Do not add to his words, lest he rebuke you and you be found a liar. This is so true because we're, we're finding many people in the Church of England who and other churches as well who are changing what the word of god says we cannot change the word of god the bible says warns us about changing the word of god we cannot do that and in the proverbs that speak much wisdom it's saying just that then in john 16 13 it says the title is the work of the holy spirit however when he the spirit of truth has come he will guide you into all truth for he will not speak on his own authority but whatever he hears he will speak and he, he will tell you of things to come and it's amazing when i got first got born again in other words first became a christian my, my thinking changed because the holy spirit moves in and can, can change our thinking to to right things or rather wrong wrong thing it's such it's so powerful it's so wonderful and it's kind of almost unbelievable it uh, really hits me right to this day how the holy spirit can guide you into all truth uh now 2 timothy 2 15 to 19 uh, approved and disapproved workers be diligent to present yourself approved to god a worker who does not need to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth but sh shun profane and idle babblings for they will increase to more ungodliness and their message will spread like cancer Hymenaeus and Philetus are of this sort who have strayed concerning the truth saying that the resurrection is already past and they overthrow the faith of some nevertheless the solid foundation of God stands having this seal the Lord knows who are his and that everyone whose name names the name of Christ depart from iniquity it's important to know that we know Jesus and follow uh, follow his his guide and be on the right track and Titus 1 uh, verses 1 to 2 Paul a bond servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ according to the faith of God select and the acknowledgement of the truth which accords with God and this, in hope of eternal life which God who cannot lie promised before time promised before time began and it's interesting for God who cannot lie this is why it's so important to um, make sure everything lines up with the word of God in other words the Bible uh, finally Isaiah 65 16 so that he who blesses himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth and he who swears in the earth shall swear by the God of truth because the former troubles are gotten and because they are hidden from my eyes and uh, once again we see a blessing with God truth so important to be filled with that truth I'm glad I know the truth of this book the Bible so wonderful and it is a truth that sets us free and maybe you're listening to this and you're not a Christian I have a prayer up here which um, which if you say it and genuinely believe it it means you can be born again and the Spirit of God can come and live inside you and give you eternal life and so much more if you'd like to say this prayer after me which reads dear lord jesus i acknowledge you as lord and savior of my life i repent of all my sins and i ask you today to take over complete control of every aspect of my life amen and once again if you said that prayer and you genuinely meant it it means the spirit of god can reside inside you and you have that wonderful gift of eternal life and so much more if you've got any comments on this video please feel free to leave a comment and to like this video i appreciate you taking the time to watch thanks very much